My absolute favorite line out of my absolute not favorite movie. It's not whether or not you're paranoid. It's whether or not you're paranoid enough. Uh, so I'm coming up with new labs for Silicon Dojo to so show folks the cool things that you can do with coding. Uh, and what I'm currently working on is basically extracting the metadata from your pictures, from your digital images, uh, in order to give information folks don't realize that they're giving. I think this is an interesting thing in the modern world, right? There's the idea of hacking. So hacking is basically where some somebody does something to a system in order to make that system do something that it wasn't supposed to do. So uh, basically the way that I think about it is essentially hacking is interacting with systems in ways that simply are not documented. Well, here's the thing, that's hacking. Then there's a whole bunch of other stuff out there that is completely documented. There's books written on the documentation, just normies don't know that exist. Right, uh, And so one of the things that I'm doing right now is showing how to pull out the metadata from pictures to show the GPS location for where the picture was taken. So this is an important thing in the modern world where um, uh, you might remember this with Parler back during the uh, the riots, the January 6th riots in Washington, D.C., uh, where people were uploading their images to Parler, uh, and then other folks were downloading those raw images and were able to extract the metadata to see the GPS information and all of that. And one of the things a lot of people don't understand is whether it's a cell phone or even DSLRs and other types of cameras, many of them have GPS uh, systems built into them, and they will actually auto-tag the image's geographic location when that image is saved. And if you know a little bit, just a tiny smidgen of Python code, you're able to pull that out. And if you know even a little bit more about coding, you can do some interesting things. Uh, so we have this image here, img.jpg. Uh, we go over here and we take a look at 34 lines of code. Uh, basically, I'm importing uh, from exif. So exif is a module uh, for uh, Python. I'm importing the image function, basically going through here, uh, and and what I'm doing is I'm literally pulling out the GPS location for this img.jpg. Uh, basically, if I run this thing, uh, we can come down here and let me focus in a little bit. And what you can see is it'll literally tell me, it'll tell me, uh, image, uh, the OS version of the device it was taken on, that it was an Apple device, that it was an iPhone 14, it was taken on this particular date. It will give me the coordinates, it'll give me the elevation, the altitude and meters. Uh, and I actually even have it uh, doing this right here, so it actually gives us a, a link. So I can click on this and it will give me a map of where it was taken using, uh, using Google Maps. And so this was, this is actually where it was taken. This was a, uh, oh, what was it Land of Sky? This was a Land of Sky thing that I went to. Now, the interesting thing with this particular project is, okay, it's interesting to get that information out, but I want to store this to a data store. So this could be stored to a database, that type of thing. I am simply printing this out to a web page so I can double click on gps.html. We can now see our image, SRC. It is embedded here. And then right beside it, is the GPS location for where Land of Sky is. So now I can see the image and I can see uh, the GPS location all with uh, 30 lines of code, which could actually probably be, be, probably be done a hell of a lot more efficiently. Now imagine, now imagine if you upload thousands of images <laughs> up onto Facebook, up onto Twitter, up onto these other platforms. Now, not only do they know where you're logging in from geographically, but every single image that you're uploading, they can see where the geotag for that image is. And so that's one of the ways they can track you. One of the other interesting things we're going to be doing with uh, Silicon Dojo is you can then feed this into a, a uh, uh, computer vision uh, system, whether it's Azure Cognitive Services or OpenCV or YOLO or something like that. And then you could actually have the computer vision detect all the different images and even people in this particular picture, and that can all be logged to your database, right? Cool, cool, cool stuff. Uh, just to show you that this actually is dynamic, uh, let's do a different picture. So uh, IMG underscore 1789. So we'll go back, we'll take a look at the code. We'll come up here. This is uppercase IMG 
underscore 1789. Uh, then I can hit Control S, so I save it. I hit Run. We come back here, GPS should be updated. And so then we see, this is uh, this is Peanut, my little puppy. It looks like we were at Mellow Mushroom. And if we come to GPS location, it shows us that in fact, we were at Mellow Mushroom for this particular image. And so this, this is the cool stuff. And the most amazing thing about this, right? This isn't hacking. <laughs> This isn't even necessarily doing anything nefarious. This is literally what is auto-saved to things like your uh, your image files, your picture files, uh, so that people can track you later. And again, think about think about how powerful this is, especially when you start doing things like facial recognition. So when you upload an image then Facebook or Twitter can scan the image for faces. It knows a geographic location. So not only is it now geographically uh, locating you, but is geographically locating every face in that particular image. That's all getting dumped into a database for, you know, for, you know, the good people of the world to do fine, upstanding, wonderful things. Uh, so anyways, I will be working on this code. Uh, this will be going into a lab project for Silicon Dojo. Uh, and again, this is the kind of stuff that I want to do with Silicon Dojo to really show folks, um, again, how technology can actually be used right now um, and what's really going on. So anyways, if you like these types of videos, give us a thumbs up. If you don't like these types of videos, give us a thumbs up, uh, share, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff. And I'll see y'all later.